Happy Friday, I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News Update. Protests that began in Minneapolis, Minnesota have spread across the country, including here to the Las Vegas Valley. Last night, dozens of demonstrators hit the Las Vegas Strip, and then hundreds turned out today, demanding justice for George Floyd, an unarmed, unarmed black man who was killed by police in Minneapolis on Memorial Day. The Viva Vision canopy at the Fremont Street Experience now counting down the hours until casinos can reopen on June 4th. This as Nevada enters phase two of the roadmap to recovery. Many other businesses are reopening today, including bars, pools and splash pads. New numbers from the state of Nevada show unemployment claims have dropped for the fourth straight week. Although the bad news here is there were still 15,600 new claims during the week ending on May 23rd. According to the Department of Employment, Training and Rehabilitation, that is down more than 2,000, though, from the previous week, or 12.5%. The intense heat will give way to gusty wind this weekend, but do expect the really warm temperatures to linger through Friday night. The excessive heat warning expiring at 8 p.m. Triple digit temperatures expected at least through then. The breeze will settle down a little bit overnight into tomorrow morning, but gusts will pick back up to the 40 to 50 mile per hour range at times tomorrow with high temperatures back in the double digits. We'll, we'll be in the upper 90s near 100 degrees through the start of next week with the breezy wind taking us into Monday as well. Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. Thanks so much for making 13 Action News a part of your day. Enjoy the weekend.